big news and some unfortunate news. This from Jack Curry of the Yes Network. Aaron Boone said, Luis Severino has some forearm soreness that dates back to his last start of the ALCS. Boone said Severino will be examined by Dr. Chris Ahmad. He said Severino will be shut down for at least a few days. It's been an off and on issue, so Boone said it's definitely concerning. Also, word of loose bodies in the elbow of Luis Severino. Here's GM Brian Cashman speaking with the media. There's an unknown right now. Um, again, it could be small and, and, and the timing issue, or it's more significant that because we haven't determined what we're dealing with yet, other than to be fully transparent and, and all tests have been negative thus far. The first step in this process from Dr. Mott's recommendation was get him on a new anti-inflammatory. Let's see how he uh, feels in the, the coming days before we uh, put him through a whole new testing battery because we've done some of those already and let's just see how you know he responds to that first. So first and foremost, a bummer for Severino. We hope he's yeah. back healthy as soon as possible. This is a guy who missed a ton of time last season. It was a rotator cuff issue. Now looking at 2020 Yankees, arguably the favorites to win it all. So Cliffy, when you hear something like this on the heels of James Paxton's injury and some other things on the pitching staff, Montgomery coming back from an injury, is this meh or SOS for you? Oh, this is definitely SOS. And you know what? <laughs> because I think when you look at the big picture, Bernsey, to, to get to the World Series, you need depth. I always believe that. You, you need a lot of guys in camp because you just never know. And I think now when you look at this, this rotation, you have some question marks, right? And big ones. These are ones where you're saying, yeah, Gary Cole is coming here to get us to the World Series and win this thing, you know, it's World Series or bust. But you need the rest of the crew. You need everybody else doing their job. And if you're going to tell me Severino's going to be out, you're going to tell me that Paxton's going to be out, you're going to tell me these guys are not going to be a part of rotation, how much pressure did you put on that bullpen early in the season? I think that's the big question as you look at this team and say, are they going to run away with the division? Are they going to win? I do believe they, can, they will still win the division, but there's a lot of question marks going into the season that you don't want. And Bernsey, that's a bullpen <clears throat> that was taxed and gassed seemingly at the yeah. end of 2019. Yeah, I mean, that's also a team that won a boatload of games yeah. without Severino at all yeah. last season. So now the difference is you take away Paxton until what, mid-May, you got Herman, it's going to be out until June 5th. So yeah, some issues, uh, SOSO and hold firing up. off the flames this early hold up, for No, Cliffy. hold up, hold up, though. Yeah. I don't think you can repeat what they did last year as far as winning as many games as you're talking about. That, that's just me. I think, you know, when you look at what guys did and what you're able to get from some of the other guys that filled in, yes. yeah. that's the question. You go, well, can you repeat that? Are you, are you capable? I think they're capable, but I don't expect those guys to repeat that. It'd be shocking if they dealt with the injuries they dealt with and then the other dudes came in and had the same amount of success. Like, that wasn't it, right? But remember this. They're also ideally going to get a full season of Stanton and Judge. and Ideally. Ide <laughs> ide I'm not <laughs> counting on it if I'm a Yankees hey, fan. Yo. But ideally, that's going to be the case. The great, the great thing is, and, and if you're a Yankees fan, is that this team has proven to be resilient. This team has yeah. proven to be, hey, look, the NY logo is greater than any one name that's ever gone through there. And they've had some unbelievable Hall of Fame players, right? Yeah. But this team and great organizations are never necessarily dependent on one guy. And they've created a culture there of winning baseball right now. And Aaron Boone's just done a terrific job.